Hello, my name is Jose Pablo Barrera, JP. Uh, this is my latest piece here in Contemporaneo High School for the show Dissecting Reality. Uh, this piece is very particular in many, uh, for many reasons. Uh, it incorporates a little bit of what I've been doing for the past few years, uh, but it takes it up a notch by incorporating movement, which was kind of the, um, it was definitely the goal to shoot for this show, since I'm dealing with what is familiar and kind of exploring new ideas new to me, uh, uh, but uh, in, uh, encompassing things that have existed prior, uh, not to mention the knowledge that I've acquired through doing this, but the um, part of my, the fundamentals of my art practice as a sculptor, as a wood sculptor more specifically, is the recycling of new, of, of, of existing objects, in this case chairs, uh, to create something outside of its initial realm. Uh, so right off the bat, I can say that this sculpture is made out of two, uh, using pieces from two chairs. Two chairs that I referenced in some diagrams. So this is the, this is the, the one of, or this is the model of chair. It, 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 it was two identical chairs. Um, if you were to have this in front of you, you would be able to dissect like the show says, uh, some components of the chair and you would kind of find their place within the sculpture. Um, but it's, it's, the initial purpose was for, not just to have sculptures that I've done in the past using the methodology, methodology that I just explained, but to uh, improve them a little bit by adding some function as opposed to just them being ornamental. In this case, you have a whole mechanism uh, of the bird using wire and using the initial uh, trigger that the viewer or the audience is the one that uh, uh, um, uh, sp sparks it or puts mm -hmm. it in motion. In this case, it just requires you to pull down. And then the weight of the bird falls right back. So. All you need to do is just push down. And what I found is that once you start, the flow just kind of comes naturally. And I was trying to depict the movement of a bird flying, which is just kind of a symmetrical movement of wings going up and down by pushing the weight of the body. So this is once you get the, the once you get into the flow, it's kind of hard to stop. But the mechanics of the of the of the sculpture when I was building it were very simple. Is come up with the with the with the uh, and I I explain it a little bit in some drawings that I that I used. So once I determined what kind of movement I was going to try and uh, trigger, it became very simple, was lift the body so that the weight of the wings would move with it. So the only, um, as explained on this diagram, the, 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 the fundamental trigger is to pull down. And that makes the body go up and the wings come down. The same weight of the body once you let go is for the body to come down and for the wings to maintain that V shape. Um, the, 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 the main challenge of this sculpture is, and as the creator myself, I'm gonna confess that once, uh, uh, it's very, the mechanics of it uh, limited to the to the to the place that it's installed in. So these roofs are much higher than my shop, right? So I had to um, I had to think ahead and, and 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 determine through engineering that I didn't do myself. Uh, determine how much length I would have had to add to these for it to have the same width of wingspan, even if it's in an eight 
foot ceiling or an 11 foot ceiling. So part of this piece is kind of the personal installation that it will require. Just because I know how this piece works, therefore I know how it needs to be installed. Uh, but that's kind of one of the fundamental purposes of this piece is knowing that it's very, uh, it's attached to the place that it's being displayed in. So by definition, wherever it goes to, needs to accommodate for those measurements or that uh, versatility in measurements uh, just because it's going to change where, wherever it goes. But I'm proud enough to say that I would be the one installing it since it's, it's my creation. I think that I know it better than anyone and it knows me. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's a pilot just because I'm exploring movement. Most of my older work is stagnant. This one is definitely uh, 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 starting something new, something that I've been very interested in, which is the movement and how the animals that I portray in nature already have their mechanisms. And all I'm trying to do is mimic them. So it's a work in progress for sure.